Hey, welcome to Distance Learning and Physical Education at Pierce Healy High School. We're excited. Woo! All right, so we're going to be moving into uh, distance learning on our phone using the Pacer app. Okay, those of you that don't have a smartphone, um, contact your teacher. So the first thing you need to do is you are all logged into your Google Classroom. Okay, you can go into your Google Classroom if you have an iPhone. Okay, in your Google Classroom, there is a link that you can click on uh, that will bring you right to the App Store app to download the correct app. If you're in Google Play, you're going to have to search because all we have is iPhones here. Okay, but there is for Google Play. You will download the app. It is a free app. Do not pay for anything. Do not get any subscriptions. Use the free app. You're going to download it. Once you download it and you open it, you will have to create a user profile. Okay, you guys all know how to do that. You're a lot more techie than I am. Okay, I will open my app. Okay, my app is ready to go. As you can see, I've already burned some calories, had some steps for today. Okay, the next thing you need to do is go back to your Google Classroom. Okay, in your Google Classroom, we have a link for your Pacer Group. This is a PE7 Pacer Group. Okay, this is your link. Okay, make sure you access this link on your phone. You will click on this link. It will bring you to... Uh, a website that says mypacer.com and you will click join PE7. Okay, I'm not going to click join right now because I'm already the owner of the group. As you can see, there's 11 members on there already um, and you can join that as well. So let me go back to my app. Okay, when I click on me, that is where I see where my groups are. So I have Mr. Toops. This will give me some different things that I need to see and you can all look through that. Down here are my groups. I have two groups on my phone, PE7, and I have my elective classes, my team sports, and my fit for life. Okay, When I go into this group, it shows me who my members are, Okay, and you can kind of see that. right? Uh, it'll have a leaderboarder in there. It'll have our weekly challenges. Right now, I have a weekly challenge up there. This does not start until March 30th. The weekly challenge... Okay, it's our distance learning week one. It is one 30-minute recorded workout, which is a walk, a hike, a run, a rollerblade, a, walk, a, a bike. Okay, And when you record that on this app, it will, uh, it will automatically upload to where it needs to upload and be a part of our group. Okay, So now, if you want to do an activity, all right, you click on the shoe here in the middle. I want to log a workout. Okay, now you have this screen. This shows you your daily steps. This shows you your calories. This shows you how many minutes you've been active for a day, how many miles you've gone. You're going to click on your GPS. Okay, it is it. Attach your GPS, and it will give you your route. What you're going to do is, I want to go for a walk. I want to go for a hike. I want to go for a run. I want to go for a bike. If you're going to rollerblade, I'd probably pick run. All right. Now, what you're going to do to start this is you will click start. Okay. Your activity will start in three, two, one. Okay, now it's going to start recording what you do in time, in miles, in calories, in steps. So I'm going to take off, and it looks like I'm walking, right? So I'm going to go for my walk, and I'm just going to stay here in the gym, and I have to keep my phone with me at all times. If you do not have your phone with you, it will not uh, calculate what you do. Okay, so maybe I'm walking, but I decided I want to run. So I'm going to take off, and now I'm going. Go, Toops, go! <laughs> One more! <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's go back in there while I catch my breath there. So now I've been working out for a minute. I've gone 0 .08 miles. So far I've burned 12 calories and I've taken 117 steps. Oh. So when I'm done with my workout, I push the pause button. If I want to resume, I can resume. If I want to finish, and I'm breathing very heavy right now, I hit finish. Okay. I need to save activity. As you can see, it shows me a GPS of where I moved. It shows my distance, shows my time, 
shows my steps. I save the activity, and I can look at it a little more if I want, and that is all you have to do. So, um, I go back here, okay, I can click on home, click on me, whatever group I'm in. As the teacher, I can come in here, I can look at it, at you, and I can see that you did a workout. I can click on the workout. This was my bike ride from last night. This is my workout for right now. And I will see that on every group that you're in. And that is how this app works. You do not need to complete the full 30 minutes in one session. You can do it in multiple sessions. Our goal is 30 minutes a day, uh, three, three times, times a, week. a week. Three times so a week. So if you have 10 minutes, go work out for 10 minutes, log it. If you have five minutes, go work out five minutes, log it. At the end of that day, it should add up to 30 minutes, three times a week. Week one, we're doing just one 30 minute workout. After that, it's three times a week, 30 minutes a day. If you do not have the app, contact your teachers. We'll figure out an alternative uh, way of documenting your activity log. And don't breathe as hard as I'm breathing. <laughs>